plaintiff, Judith Bulal, dated the defendant, and she claims he's a narcissist and a pathological liar who uses women for money. Judith claims she gave the defendant two loans, but he has yet to repay her, so she's suing. Defendant Robert Thompson says he thought everything was going fine with Judith, and he was shocked when she broke up with him via text out of the blue. Robert claims he still doesn't know why Judith left him, and he insists the money from her was a gift. Start with you. Okay, um, Your Honor. I met Bobby Thompson in April of 2015, and after that we started dating. And um, based on that experience, I believe that um, Bobby is a narcissist, um, he's a con artist, and um, and a pathological liar. Tell me what experiences you had that okay, make you um, believe that. Yes. Um, well, one example is, is that um, he stood me up for a weekend. He didn't show up uh, for a weekend that we had planned. But when we um, talked later, he said that the reason he wasn't there was because his three family members in his um, were in a terrible car accident and they were all in critical condition. But later, um, he said that he hadn't seen his family for a long time. <laughs> okay. Standing um, up doesn't make I think him a narcissist. He, well, the narcissist part was with the fact that he was very controlling and critical of me. And okay, maybe you don't understand. Narcissism <laughs> means an extreme love for oneself. But Go ahead. Okay. I believe that um, he uses uh, women for money. Okay. Now that's and certainly a con man if you believe that. And the family incident, that's certainly a big lie. I don't know how many big lies he's told you. That would make him a, a pathological if he told you a lot of big lies. Mm -hmm. Has he told you a lot of big lies? Yes. He doesn't deal with little lies. <laughs> <laughs> he's big, everything. All right, sir, let me hear from you. She says you're a narcissist, and meaning you have extreme love for yourself, think you look real good. Let's well, start there. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I look that good. Okay. Uh, that's the first thing. In and, love uh, with yourself? Myself, about myself. In love, extreme love for no, yourself? No, I'm not in extreme love okay. with myself. All right, go yeah. ahead. Um, yeah, I met Judy um, around about that time. We met in class, communications class, and, and we hit it off. And um, we started communicating, we started dating and everything like that, and it was going just fine. Um, I would see her every weekend, go to work during the week, and see her on the weekends. That's what, what exactly. What do you think went wrong? Um, I really don't know because uh, we had a, a conversation, a long conversation, about uh, breaking up and how to break up. And um, I received During that long conversation, yes. you never got the gist of why she was breaking up with No, you. so we were just talking about people in general, saying that they would text people, and okay. we said that was insensitive, yeah. cold, You're you know. telling me this today, why? Um, <laughs> because the subject is the two of you breaking up. Yeah, the two of us breaking up. Do she... you know why that is? Not why no. others break up, no. but why the two of you broke up. That's the subject matter. I have no idea why we broke up. All right, you want to ask her? Because you came up? to court being broke up. Okay. I don't know if okay. you know that or not. I believe that um, Bobby is a narcissist. Um, he's a con artist. And, um, and a pathological liar. Defendant Robert Thompson is being sued by his ex-girlfriend, who claims Robert is a narcissistic liar who uses women for money. Go ahead, ma'am. He doesn't know why you broke so, up. Judy, why did we break up? Well, I had sent him a text message <laughs> and told him that... He told you you all shouldn't do that by text, yeah. but go ahead. But he um, indicated to me a couple of times that he was looking for a job mm -hmm. outside of the St. Louis area, like in mm -hmm. another state. Mm -hmm. And given the fact that um, I wasn't happy in the relationship um, because of that um, controlling um, stuff that he was doing, I said that I thought that he was just kind of slipping away and um, that, you know, that I needed to end the relationship. And then in that same text, then I... Um, talked about the loans. The breakup have anything to do with the loans? No, what I told him was that I could see that he was looking for a job in another state. Okay, and, that and I didn't sounds like you're gonna leave me, so let's just yes. break up before you leave. 
And what did that he say? That wasn't the reason. That, that wasn't, wasn't the reason? No, the reason All right, no was. No wonder he doesn't know, ma'am. You've given, me, <laughs> you've given me three different reasons. You've given me three different things. And just a little confused there. But the loan, how did this come about and when? Okay, so the first loan was September. And that uh, was... Of 15? Um, 2015. Uh-huh. And that was for his car. And mm -hmm. he told me that he needed the money. Otherwise, his car would be repossessed and he wouldn't have a way to get to work. And so I gave him um, $1,000 in cash. And then the second loan was... Was there an agreement on when he would repay? Yeah, we had, um, we had some emails back and forth. And um, um, he, we set like a time frame, like one time in November of 2015. Okay. And the second loan was for rent. And that happened in January of... 16? Yes. And that was for how much? Obviously another thousand? Yes. When was he to repay that? Well, it was the same. I mean, it was the same for the rent and for the car. At the same time? Yes. He was to pay you the 1,000 that you loaned him in September in November, right? Is that what you're telling um, me? Um, no. What are you telling me? When was he, let's try it again. When was he to repay you the money you loaned him in September. Well, I'll have to look at my evidence here. All right, sir, what do you want to tell me about this? Okay, um, both loans were a gift. We were talked about it and... <laughs> we talked about it anyway. They were, they, they, were, they were a gift. She knew my financial situation. I was getting what up was on my What was the financial situation? Um, basically, um, owed a little bit of Uncle Sam. I was a little bit behind on my car. My car broke down and I had a payment on my car. And then I was late on, on one of my rent payments and everything. And you weren't working? Let's start I was, there. I was working. I was working. So why couldn't you pay your own bills? I paid them, but I didn't have enough to pay them off. <laughs> why? Uh, because I just ran out of money. Okay. I, I actually just ran out of money. What I, about the second time? The second time was mostly the rent because I was, I was, I was, I think, one month behind. And why couldn't you pay them yourself? Because I paid the rent, but I was still one month behind. You ran out of money again? I, I did. <laughs> no, okay. I, 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 I just ran out and of money. And now the last time you ran out of money mm -hmm. was uh, January? That was really the last So time. you have money now? Yes, I have a little money. Okay, and if I'm, you're ordered to pay, you can pay it then. But then you'll be out again. <laughs> you will have run out again. All right, ma'am. He says these were gifts. That's why I need the dates. Yeah, I've got which... the dates. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, it was in September um, 2014. And then that was he for was the to car. Repay and then you Jan... when? on November of 2015, I sent him a text ma message demanding payment okay, of the two you're loans. Ma'am, you're not giving me the information I need. I need to know when you exchanged money, mm -hmm. when did he say he would repay you? Well, I hope that he would do it right away. Okay, <laughs> so there's no day for repayment. Well, I, on 10-28 of uh, 2015, I sent him um, a, a payment for two loans by repaying me $100 monthly beginning in November of go. 2015. So 100 a month beginning in 2015. Yes. What month in 2015? October. October. All right. And you're looking at something. You have evidence of that? What are you reading from? Um, I have a, a timeline. Narcissism means an extreme love for oneself. But go ahead. Okay. I believe that um, he uses uh, women for money. Okay. Defendant Robert Thompson is being sued by his ex-girlfriend, who claims Robert is a narcissistic liar who uses women for money. And let's see that, please. And he agreed to this? Yes. All right. Yes. So she gives me a timeline uh, saying um, that you were to give her 100 a month. You, did you ever agree to give her 100 a month? Yes, when I got it on my feet, I did, I did agree to give her $100 a month. Okay, do you make it a habit of repaying gifts? This, the second one was not a gift. Pardon me? The second one was not a gift. All right, what about the first one? Did the you repay one... the first one? No, did I did not. you pay that? Why? You ran out of money. No. <laughs> <laughs> Judgment for the plane, if I believe Thank you. the old Thank you. Have a good day. $2,000. I'm grateful that I had this opportunity because I do not want to be a woman who um, 
is used, you know, for my money and for other things. And so it was important to me to stand up for me and for women. Um, so I'm grateful for the opportunity and I appreciate the verdict. You know, we talked about it, we, we communicated about it. And I hope after this we can, come we can still be friends, but you were, you will get your money, $100 or whatever it is, you will get your money, she will get her money.